Oh my God. Oh no. Something just happened that I was not expecting. It's never happened before here at the Safe Haven Ranch. I do have a ranch hand that gives me a hand. Tiffany's mom, she comes early in the morning, calls me up and she's like, there's something wrong, you gotta come out here. So something got to one of my chickens. Hey, was it one of you? I doubt it. You guys never attack my chickens. I'll be very disappointed in you. Hi, piggies. Back that way? No, right here. Oh my God. Oh, wow, I was petting that chicken yesterday. Oh, no, here. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh, no. So you said that you saw Gracie it messing with it? Here. She picked it up and moved it there. I think she's maybe guarding it. Maybe. But. Okay, so Gracie's guarding the corpse of my chicken. I think something got to the chicken last night, and Gracie and Dak stopped it. I mean, she kind of just wants to guard it. Man, she loves these chickens, man. Like, she was in tears right now. Okay, I'm sorry if this is kind of visually disturbing. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna see what's going on here. Gracie, I, I hope that you didn't do this. I would, I would hope that you didn't do this. But there wasn't a chicken out yesterday. I think she's just trying to guard it. Was there a coyote over here? had this thing by the neck, ripped it off because my dogs were trying to protect it. What'd you see last night, Hamlet? So yesterday, we put this hole, like there was a big hole here. The dogs have never dug holes here. They're very notorious for digging holes. It's crazy because the video that I just uploaded right before this video, I caught something in my backyard. It had glowing eyes. I thought maybe it could have been a cow. Maybe because one of my cows are in heat and maybe it was a, a bull. One thing is certain, I need to put cameras out here. Problem is, see where my house is at? Way back there. That's where the electricity's at. And to run electricity all the way back here, you know how much that's gonna cost? It's like, I don't know, over a thousand feet in ele electric wire. I mean, that's. Oh. All right, I'm gonna dig this hole while listening to my roosters have a cock-a-doodle-doo. Cock-a-doodle-doo off? I don't know. I'm glad you guys stuck up for your chickens. That's right. But y'all shouldn't have let them come in here. There was a fight last night and the dogs won. So that's one thing that we do know. You protecting the chicken? Yes. I believe you are, Gracie. Okay, I do have a good idea though. I have some trail cams that I completely forgot about. In fact, I think I have, I don't know, maybe like six of them, but they work off of motion. Those things could be going off like all day long. I mean, even all night long, because these guys, they just don't stop eating. They eat all day long. Hi. Hi, baby girl. How you doing, Mary Poppins? Why are you running away? Why are you running away? She's so cute. Hi, Tommy. Lily. Hi. What'd you see last night? Was it a bull? Did a bull attack my chickens? All right, so brought in an expert here. It's my friend Johnny with wildlife. Expert wildlife. For expert wildlife. And he told me the way that chicken looked, he's almost certain that it could have been a raccoon, but there's a lot of things that I'm just not understanding. He said that a raccoon could dig holes. They'll do whatever they can to get to the chicken. So one thing's certain, I gotta get some cameras out here and figure out what's getting to my chickens. I am proud of the dogs though, because they must have stopped whatever was going on. Another thing Johnny said is that when something like a raccoon gets to your chickens, even if you have livestock guardian dogs, raccoons are very, they're very ninja-ish. They're very quiet, they're very slick. So they probably didn't catch it in time. I think a raccoon got in there. When the dogs finally realized that there was something in there attacking the chickens, they probably heard the commotion. That's what woke the dogs up. Well, the dogs are up all the time. They started digging the hole 
to get to the chickens and it freaked the raccoon out. Raccoon probably had the thing in its mouth, was trying to take it, went over the fence and the dogs stopped it from happening. I wish I could have saw this on video. Like that would have been such a great video to see my dogs like sticking up for their, their farm. Gotta get some cameras out here. That raccoon is coming back. Or maybe it's not. Do you think it's gonna come back? Yes. It's gonna come back. Cause it had that taste of a chicken head in its mouth. I'm not letting it get any more of my chickens. You know, it's crazy too. I'm missing like three or four other chickens and they were just slowly disappearing. Yeah, that's how it works. That's how it works, huh? I do have to share this with you cause my cousin just brought it up to my attention. My dog, Gracie, might be pregnant. So you could see her belly is kind of big. Boobies are swollen. She's, yeah, her belly's a little bit bigger. Oh, you're gonna be a mama. I did want her to have puppies just at least one time. And then I was gonna get her fixed. I'm not gonna get Dak fixed because I like him to be able to mark his territory at the ranch here, things like that. But yes, we're gonna get Gracie fixed and probably even keep a couple of the puppies. You're so cute, baby. You guys are gonna have some puppies together? Yes? <laughs> oh, what the heck? How'd that happen? I don't know what's going on here, but there's like eggs underneath the house. Is something getting to them and then putting them under there? Look, there, well, there's one right there. There's an egg under here. What the heck? That one. Yeah. But I don't understand. Three of them? Was there one over there too? Uh, yeah, there's another one over there. Like, yeah, how does that happen? I'm trying to figure this one out. That one's like really, under, it's like in a hole. Oh my God, look, there's a whole tunnel system. It's rats. It's rats. Yeah, look, there's a whole tunnel system. Look, there's a hole right there. The rats are stealing the eggs. Look, there's a little hole right there. Careful, might get a rat on you. Well, I was trying to figure out, I rolled this one to see if it would roll over there, but it won't. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really worried too much about rats. Look at right there. Yeah. But it's when them things start having babies. Sure it's rats and not them moles? Uh, no, it's not those moles. Hi, Sister Mary Clarence, how you doing? <laughs> so I just found out that my hen, this one right here, is actually a rooster. Started doing a little cock doodle do yesterday out of the blue. How you doing? You are so cute. Come here. And he's actually pretty friendly. But yeah, the place that I got him from, they made a mistake. That's Mr. Fancy Pants. They're going right underneath here. No, the, I think the rats are just stealing them. Because they can get in right here. I'm not trying to mess with you, buddy. I'm not trying to mess with you. <laughs> He's being cool. We're just now seeing this. Uh, some of it was damaged, but it wasn't, it wasn't this bad. Because when we were moving it, some of, like this right, this part right here got messed up. But yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I need a raccoon trap. Mm. I'm sorry daddy hasn't gotten you a better pool yet. I mean, we do have a good pool, but it's big. And it's gonna take me a while to set up and I wanna do it right. There goes Rodriguez. Rodriguez, why are you running away? Hey, good morning, Dixie. I'll put some hay over there for you. Hey, where are you going? All right, her skin, I don't know. I don't know if it's improving or getting worse. Lamar is actually doing better, but he was given a steroid injection. The reason why we didn't give Dixie a steroid injection is because if you give a llama that's pregnant a steroid injection, it could abort the baby. We're not 100% certain. It takes a little while for a llama to show that she's pregnant. I think it's like 11 months or so. All right, so check it out. Our barn is nice and clean in here. Came out really nice. We got all the hay out. Just dirt now. We're gonna put a little bit of that earth stuff. 
And now we're just going around and cleaning all the cow turds and then I'm gonna go over it with a rake. I forgot to show you, completely forgot. So I brought the turtles. Yeah, the turtles now have a permanent home here at the Safe Haven Ranch. Check this out. All right, so we built, oh, look at this. <laughs> you trying to get out? So the very same day I brought these guys in, this guy, this is Torty right here, he escaped right through the sheep and goat wire. I mean, you can see he's kind of little, so we had to put the borders in there. These guys do dig, but they don't dig, they don't dig a lot. They're not like gopher tortoises. So we got him in there. We got this guy. And the way we're doing this, because we do usually have a filter in there, we're just changing his water out. It's not like a lot of water. This is a temporary solution. Hi, mister. He's such a cute little boy. Yes, you are. So until then, we're just dumping out his water, putting new water. Where is the other tortoise, though? I think he's, yeah, he's hiding underneath. Yeah, he goes back there. Let me see if I could, see if I could stick the camera in there. Uh, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hi. You guys hungry? So yeah, this is a huge area for them. I mean, I don't know if you saw the last enclosure at my, my other house. It was pretty much like just this corner was all that I gave them. So now they have this entire area for them. And what we're going to do a little bit later on, I'm going to split this in half and I'm going to make one side primarily for the tortoises and the other side for my water turtle. And we're going to build him a really beautiful pond that he can come in and out of a lot easier than this. This is kind of hard for him to come out of. I'd have to build like a ramp. So I'm going to put something underground for him, maybe like a concrete pool or something. Did you guys see anything? See a raccoon or anything around here? Oh, this is kind of cool. Look, my camera's following me around. How awesome is that? Over here. Oh, a lot of llama poop right there. Uh, can it get me over here? How about over here? Oh, wow. That is amazing. Wow. I'm like a little kid, man. I just got this new camera, so. I'm actually really digging it. Gracie's gonna be a mommy. She's gonna be a mommy. Okay, so I wanna do a little a bit, a little a bit. So I just kinda wanna look at the exterior of the Safe Haven Ranch and see if I see any holes because Johnny did tell me that they can dig holes as well, but I don't know, if I had to take a guess, I think they're just jumping right over the fence. I mean, we do got some barbed wire here. I may set a raccoon trap on the other side there. In case you're wondering, something that's kind of popular throughout North Florida and Georgia, maybe even the Carolinas, gopher moles. Well, they're called pocket gophers. They almost look like rats. And they create, mainly in the wintertime a lot more, they create these little piles and they have these tunnels underground, very disruptive to your green grass little spots like that and they're really hard to get rid of so cute <laughs> where are you going where are you going you give me a kiss why you make piggy you're so cute big piggy i don't know a raccoon coyote i've seen them just clear a four foot fence like nothing maybe a six foot fence possibly but as you can see there goes one of those gopher piles or whatever that's a fresh one too hey ray hi He's single, ladies, if, you know, if looking for a girlfriend. Está buscando novia. Oh, mucho. He's looking, wait, tú está buscando mucha novia. No, una, una novia. Una, okay. Una novia. He just wants one. All right, this is what we got going on here. Plenty of fertilizer. Luna, where are we going right now, Luna? Where are we going? All right, fam, so I am on a mission to catch these mother-humping raccoons, but doing it in the safest way possible. And I am at my local Rural King kind of like a tractor supply this is the last time last time i had to catch raccoons this is where i got the traps don't have the traps anymore my dad sold them so uh, i mean i didn't really have any use for them but i need them and if i get some again i'm keeping them obviously we got to get you on a diet you know yeah you gained a little weight or maybe you just need a haircut this is exactly what i got last time I had, there's two traps in there oh, see that oh, it's, a value pack. it's a value pack you get the small one 
but I'm not trying to catch rabbits. I want to catch this guy right here that's eating my chickens. I don't know. Maybe I should get the bigger one. Oh, that's expensive. Is that squirrels? The squirrelinator. Oh, look at all those squirrels. Poor guys. In case you're wondering how much this costs, $40 for two traps that's not really a bad price i'm not sure if that's what i paid last time i feel like i paid more it must be on sale all right lucky for us we do have a couple of these owl things here they help to deter hawks and things away from like chicken areas and not just chicken areas but like just to kind of keep birds away from where you want them to be away these kind of look a little beefy they're a little bit bigger than the ones i got luna's gonna be like a little kid right now what is that <laughs> you want a toy? All right, Luna loves toys like this, but they only last a day because she wants to bite the squeaker off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Come on, let's go this way. Look how cute. And, uh, <laughs> oh my god. That's totally going to be fun. I'm that. done changing diapers, though. I would totally get a dog just to. No way. Mm -hmm. Looking for the toys. Where's all the toys, Luna? Oh, look at all the toys. Oh, Luna's in the clearance section. I like the way you think. <laughs> what is that, Luna? Oh, what about over here? Look, there's toys. Look, all the toys. There's so many toys. Oh, she doesn't know what to get. She's just smelling them all. What about this? You like this? Yeah. You like that? All right, fam. It's nighttime. Been really busy today. Got the kids over. Only one that's missing is Ethan, but it's Max and Malia. Hi. I'm that's Becca. Becca. Hi, I'm Adrian. And these guys are they're doing great. Beautiful couple. Two beautiful couple. Y'all ain't gotta make it all awkward on me. <laughs> but anyways, I, I gotta show you something cool. I did this on the farm earlier. Did Here. Follow you? Yeah, follows you. So look, stand back a little bit. All right, I'm up. Okay. Wait, hold on. Okay. Okay, now move around. What? <laughs> that's really cool. Isn't that cool? That's really cool. <laughs> that's awesome. That's really sick. I wonder if it'll follow me when you walk out of the shop. Hey, primo! Hi. So we got some vegetables that um, the kids did not like, so I'm going to feed those to the turtles. We got some arroz moro, which is a Cuban dish, and quejeso. Benal. Benal, aka deer meat. Yeah. Got some deer. My boy went hunting the other day. <laughs> Una comida muy rica. Una comida muy rica. Yeah. And he's got some green tomatoes. He loves green tomatoes. I'm not really into them. Have you ever tried green tomatoes, Max? We have some turkey. Uh, of course, yeah. Benal, deer. And Malia made this. Potatoes. Potatoes? Yep. Okay, that looks really. Oh, wait, it's like a hash browns. Yeah. Dang, you go, girl. I haven't done something in a really long time, and I feel so bad that I have not done this in a really long time. You must be starving. I'm going to let you try Malia's hash brown potatoes. Oh, yeah, hash brown casserole. Hash brown casserole. Oh, it's like Cracker Barrel. Oh, Cracker Barrel. Yeah, okay. So here you go. <gasps> oh, whoa. That must have been really good. You must have been really hungry. I think you need seconds. All right, here you go. Okay, Max is gonna do something extremely brave right now. He's gonna try deer right now for the very first time ever and let us know what he thinks it tastes like. <laughs> it looks just like some beef. Look at that. It's like thick beef. I'm actually surprised that you're trying that. Max is like really big eater. <laughs> What's that? I guess it looks like beef to him. He likes beef. What does it taste like? It's like beef, but like a little hint of deer. Wait, but you don't know what deer tastes like, son. Like, it's, uh, <laughs> it tastes taste, a little different. You can taste the deer. What do you mean you can taste the deer? You can taste the deer, it's a little bit. You know what's good though? It's like a... You can taste the forest. It's, it's like... Hmm. It's so, got a sweet taste, it's good. It's got a sweet taste. But, like, all right, let's say no one told you that that was deer, and... Like you ate it, what would you think it was? I think it's like seasoned beef. So you would think it's beef. All right, so you would think that it, it's beef. So that's what deer meat tastes like, in case you're wondering. What the <laughs> f was that? Who did that? <laughs> no. Oh, no. It was you? It was me. 
How dare you fart at my table? El perro, el perro. It was the dog? Daisy, no, chica. It was the Daisy? Yeah. It was the Daisy. Day. It was the Luna. <laughs> Wait, but Malia's the only one turning red over here. Because it was funny. It was her? No, it wasn't. It was Don't be ashamed. <laughs> yeah. Who has the red ears? Oh, man. Wait. Wait. I have no idea who farted. I, I, really, I really don't know. I'm pretty sure it was Becca. It like, was me. I swear. You don't have to be ashamed of yourself. I, I actually really welcome you for doing that. It's very brave. It's very brave. All right, fam. So I'm out here. Probably the first time in a while that I lock up the chickens in their coop. They do go in there at nighttime. The ducks stay out. They don't really, uh, I don't know. I mean, raccoons will attack ducks, but I think the geese are very well protective. Like they're gonna protect, obviously the, the ducks because they're part of their flock. Um, sometimes they'll protect chickens too, but they're more about the ducks. And for some reason themselves right now, but you can see we are locked up over there. I'm going to set up a couple of trail cams. There was no need in setting them up during the day because these things would go off like crazy from the chickens. Uh, the ducks might set them off a couple times, but that's okay. They do say that once a raccoon enters a coop and gets a chicken, they will come back. I'm thinking about putting the raccoon trap behind the property. I know that doesn't make much sense, but I don't know. I don't want my dogs or maybe even my little goat the pigs ew what the hell was that oh maybe it was mud uh something happened with lamar earlier today he got kind of tangled up in some wire and he wouldn't move so i put him in the turtle enclosure just for a short while i hear water uh this happens sometimes animals accidentally turn on the water don't know how but yep Hi, Pepper. Hi, Mona. You know that creature that I saw the other night? I haven't seen it anymore. I am going to probably put a trail cam back there, too. So, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Put one of the raccoon traps behind the property. I mean, they could be coming from anywhere. It could be coming from the neighbor's yard. But if I had to take a wild guess, they're coming from these woods that are behind our property. Lamar, buddy. Are you doing okay? Oh, he does not look good. I don't know. Oh my God. He looks like he's just gonna fall over. Oh, he's very weak. He's kind of like in shock. Let me get him out of here. Come on, buddy. Are you okay? Hey, it's okay. You're doing okay? Come on, let's get out of here. Come on. I'm trying to get him to go to the barn. It is raining out. I think it was kind of traumatizing for Lamar when he got stuck because he's been kind of just acting really lethargic and weird. Like he won't even let me come that close to him. You know, um, this is his skin condition that I am treating. It is getting a little bit better. Uh, we did check and you can see his eyes. They look pretty good. See, so we're nice and pink like we want them to be. So, you know, we're okay there. Why don't you go in here, lay down. Go lay down over there. It's nice and clean. You want to drink some water? So he's like shaking. Oh man, he's like, oh, I've never seen him like this. I'm actually kind of scared. Are you crying, buddy? Don't cry. Hey, Rena, how you doing, baby girl? What are these guys doing? You're not supposed to be in here. You're not supposed to be in here. Come on, get out. Get out, out. This is really weird. I've never seen Lamar act like this. Oh, I'm like terrified. He's been acting like this all day. If he looks the same tomorrow, I'm going to bring my vet out. Do an emergency visit on him because I just, I don't know, I don't like the way. I mean, he's standing up, he's walking around. I just think he's sore. Maybe from being tangled up in the fence. Oh, but he just, oh, it just doesn't look very good. It's like kind of shaking. Just, I don't know. I'm actually really scared. Mar, why don't you relax a little bit? Why don't you lay down? All right, look, I have a bunch of these trail cams. Some of them lost their mojo. I believe this one. 
still has good batteries from like a couple years ago when I bought them. Yeah, this one's good. And it's got the SD card. So I really only need maybe three. That's what I'm doing. Just for now. Because, I mean, I don't even remember how to work some of these. There's two different trail cams. Like this one, like what the heck? Uh, I got a couple energizers I'm going to use on this one first. So, SD card. SD card. Please work. It's not working. I don't want to buy more batteries. We might have to just roll with one trail cam. Alrighty. What you doing? Watch up, boy. Oh, man. Hey, if you guys like Great Pyrenees, this is one thing to look forward to. Giant holes. Yeah, they love holes. All right, so here's the tricky thing. I have no idea where to put this one freaking trail cam. So I put it over here, have the ducks setting it off all night. Obviously, whatever's getting to my chickens loves my chickens. You can see they're all right there, chilling. Locked them up. I need to get them that automatic door opener, which I do have. I just have not installed the X. I've been very busy, aka lazy. I'm thinking this is probably a good spot right here. We don't have really a whole lot to work with. Once I get some electricity ran, then we'll we'll be okay because I can get some regular cameras that are always recording. That's my goal. What the hell? Oh my god. That scared the crap out of me. This is as good as it gets for now. I just kind of tied it up like that. Now we're going to turn this bad boy on. Uh, I mean, hopefully the raccoon doesn't show up, but if he does, we got him on camera. So, all right, it says on there. I already have it in video mode, not on picture mode. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yep. So, all right, let's see what happens. I will keep you updated in the next one. Gotta go for now before we leave. Give me a kiss. Peace.